After wearing a face mask for the first time during a visit to his constituency, Boris Johnson has served notice that masks could soon be compulsory in shops in England, as they are now in Scotland. We need to be stricter in insisting that people wear face coverings in confined places where um, they uh, are meeting people that you know, they don't normally meet. So that's why it's mandatory already on, on public transport. And uh, we're looking at ways of making sure that people really do uh, observe, really do have face coverings in, in, uh, in, in shops, for instance, where you know, y y there is a risk of, of transmission. The latest official data suggests that just over half of us wore a face covering in the last week of June, up nearly 10% from the week before, even though scientists have not so far called for their widespread use. But I think in other countries, perhaps they've gone beyond the absolute proof um, of effectiveness and have taken more of a kind of precautionary approach that you know, can't do any harm uh, and may do some good. Uh, and so it doesn't surprise me that the thinking might be moving in that direction. After months of near-deserted city centre streets, the Prime Minister has also said it's time for people to end working from home and get back to the office if they can. I think everybody's sort of taken the stay at home if, if, if you can. I think we should now sort of say, well, go back to work if you can, because I think it's very important that people should, should try to lead, lead their lives more normally. Mr Johnson wants to persuade millions of people to return to pre-lockdown work patterns and start spending again. Officials here insist there's no change in government guidance, but the Prime Minister's remarks do reveal a change in tone, no doubt influenced by the almost daily announcements of layoffs and shop closures from businesses that rely heavily on custom from people going to work. Good news for many today is that as well as outdoor pools reopening, club cricket is back. At Fort Green Cricket Club near Marple in Cheshire, they're getting ready for their first game of the season this afternoon. But it's the economy that needs to get on the front foot right now, and why the PM is urging people to go back to work and proposing face masks to give them the confidence that it's safe to do so. John Craig, Sky News.